Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning January 16th, 2017. For this week we're going to be using the Archangel's Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and of course pulling a crystal card from the Healing Oracle Crystal Reading Cards deck by Rochelle Charmin. <laughs> All right, and if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. And please do not forget about the extra readings on Gumroad for January. They are prosperity readings. For February, they will be love readings. And then, of course, we have courses up there as well. I'm still in the process of filming the love readings, but I hope to have those up shortly. So let's get into it here for the week. And let's see what is coming up for us. Again, if you hear the background noise, you know what's going on, right? Oh, there's one. Ooh, brilliant idea. Okay, this is cool. Let's get some more. More of that, please. And it's Archangel Uriel who helps you figure out what the heck you're doing on this planet to begin with. <laughs> so it's good. Could be a lot of self-discovery going on. You are safe. You are safe to be you. Chakra clearing. Okay, so already I'm getting the feeling like there's some clearing to be done with expectations around who you are, what you're meant to be. But this goes a little bit deeper. This would even be, I would, I would almost say this is like um, light beings kind of, you know, that have incarnated at this time maybe <laughs> kind of coming out or... Um, whoever whatever vibration your soul is vibrating at letting that authenticity come on out we've been talking about that for a very long time but some of you are having to heal the human story first before you can come on out now this is not a message to encourage people because we have some how do I put this delicately we have some people out there who are just so hungry for meaning in their life that they are um, convincing themselves that they are something maybe that they are not or you know glomming on to a theory just to make themselves more comfortable this is only if it is authentic for you so even if like let's say you're like oh for forever you're like oh I'm a star seed I'm a star seed I'm a star seed well this could be the week where you kind of snap out of it a little bit and you're like wait a minute I don't have to I don't have to hang on to that that doesn't really resonate with me and I'm not sure it ever did you know wait, who am I? And it could, again, once you're willing to let go of that old story or that thing that you were trying to put on to yourself, once you're ready to let that go, the real you can come on out. And I think this is a really nice time in this coming week for this to just kind of get going. Conversely, some of you, you kind of know what kind of being you are, what kind of soul you have, and you're ready to uh, get more in touch with that. Let's just put it that way, okay? divine order everything's happening for good reason all right so let's get these cards in order here let's get started so the first card like i said is brilliant idea archangel uriel yes yes your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea to fruition but what this means though remember what we were just saying a lot of us are cracking open and getting more in touch with who we really are so this is going to it, it doesn't necessarily i mean it could be a new idea but it could be something that you had been working on but you're ready to take a new approach with it okay it could be something along those lines as well but this is definitely you're not so worried about what people are going to think of it anymore <laughs> right so you're again it's all about tapping into that authenticity and allowing these real ideas the real ideas to flow and you're not yeah thank you you're not trying to be anybody else anymore you're just ready to have your voice all right so that's beautiful don't be afraid because you are safe and it's archangel michael it says i am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you your loved ones and home Okay, so for some of you, yes, this could be pursuing a dream. This could be pursuing um, an idea, you know, this brilliant idea that you have. But these can also be solutions coming up for you. And if you thought that you were going to be in trouble, like let's say around your home or something like that, 
solutions are coming to you. You are safe. It's not like you're going to be homeless. You don't have to be, okay, unless your soul is choosing to do that and to have that experience. But really, you're safe to move forward. Things will come together in the way that they need to, but you need to, the feeling I'm getting is you need to follow the guidance that's coming to you, the authentic guidance. There's that word again, authentic guidance that's coming to you and not the kind of guidance that your um, ego is telling you to do and it's posing as something holy. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, yeah, because we humans, we jump to a lot of conclusions. We think we've got it figured out because we need to have it figured out or we're not comfortable, right? So we think we got everything all worked out and figured out and that could get us going down the wrong path. Okay, so in order to be able to take in these messages and to understand what's coming through and not make any missteps, okay, chakra clearing, make sure you're nice and clear. It's Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So really tuning in and clearing away. This is that healing of the human story, right? Um, who you were always told you had to be or who you're supposed to be right? Just kind of let all that go. And I love that there's a sacred geometry element to this message. And Metatron, Metatron helps you with your intuition, helps you develop your intuition. So why not work with him this week and see what kind of, um, you know, what kind of knowledge gets downloaded into you? Uh, what do you discover about this world around you? Hint, it's not what you think, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but, you know, this could be a really, like, beautiful bonding time with the universe, with God's source creator, okay? Bonding with the angels. It's very, yes, there are going to be things happening on the surface of your life, but this is about a lot of internal things as well, right? Your strength is in your soul. So if you're not plugged into that and you're just like a talking head out there <laughs> like doing whatever just to keep your persona animated, well, it's kind of a waste of energy, if I may, right? So this is the week. There's going to be a lot of, it's going to, you know, obviously differ for every person out there, but there's going to be a lot of self-discovery, like we said before, and a lot of clarity on how you want to move forward, okay? Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you'll, uh, okay, how do I say that? It, I guess what I what, what the feeling is is that it'll be clearer to you um, on how to move forward. Okay, sorry, they're correcting me now. The answers will just come, okay? But if you're all wound up and, oh, come on, universe, come on, you know, give me the answer, guide me, show me what to do, tell me how to live my life, you're going to miss it. Yes, that's why that chakra clearing card is in there and it goes beyond just, you know, clearing your chakras. But again, bonding with the universe, opening your intuition. When all the lines are clear, you'll get the phone call. <laughs> okay, so I think that was like a really big feeling I was getting. That's the best way I could put it. Anyway, let's get on to this next card here. Divine Order. It's Archangel Raguel. Stay in balance. Stay in harmony. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. I think a lot of us, there's this, uh, and I've said this in a few videos now, we are conditioned as humans to um, constantly be pushing on something. If you're not pushing, you're not achieving. And the energy is shifting and has been for a while where we're like, whoa, 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 okay, if I push too hard, I'm not gonna get anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna be working against my own best efforts. So. Something for each of you might come up this week that illustrates that point to you, all right, where you realize how important it is to remain balanced and to trust the universe a little bit, you know, that it, just because it's not happening the way I think it should doesn't mean that it's happening, uh, you know, in the worst way possible. Like, you know, things are happening. It might not seem that great, but there might be some rhyme or reason to it that we can't yet wrap our minds around, okay? So... Let's get on to the crystal card for this week. Let's see what's going on here. Don't be afraid to um, allow, don't be afraid to allow some relaxation into this week. Um, that's going to be really imperative. Okay, we're back. I had to like climb out of this chair. I'm in like a really big chair. I had to climb out of it 
to get this. This flew out onto the floor. It's clear quartz purification. So we were saying, you know, don't be afraid to let this be sort of a relaxation kind of week as well. Um, to take a breather, to take stock of what you're doing. Are you still heading in the right direction? Now, if you're filled up with a lot of confusion, again, that's, you know, this purification card is telling you what you need to do. And we have the chakra clearing as well. So the more cluttered up you are with worry and distress, frustrations, whatever, okay, the harder it's going to be to carry forward and the harder it's going to be this week to have anything happen, be it a realization, um, you know, or if you're, you've got a deal to sign this week, I mean, all of it's going to not make sense to you, I guess, is what we're getting at here. But clear quartz is also an amplifier. And so keep that in mind too. <laughs> so if you want to, I guess it's kind of like, okay, try not to look at the bad side of everything. Again, we always tell you not to be delusional, but if you're always assuming the worst, if you're always worrying, that's going to be amplified this week. So you have a choice here. You can use this week to really embrace the help that's there, to carry forward, to let go of the old stuff, to really be cleansed of everything that had happened before, um, and healing that, again, that human story. Uh, you can cleanse and purify yourself of that, or you can continue to struggle and have the struggle amplified, <laughs> right? So we don't want that, yeah? So let me see if there's anything else about that there. Yeah, it's not like you would amplify it so much that you would destroy anything in your world. It's just that it would be unpleasant. And the angels are actually saying, you don't need to go through all of that. <laughs> just, you know, again, call us in, let us help you. Everything is, everything is pretty chill this week, I think. But it's like, how do I, what's that other feeling there? What is that? Mm, regrouping, resetting. Okay, bringing goals into laser focus, but this isn't so that you can push on them and um, go shoving ahead for some purpose in your life. It's getting focused on how to go forward, how to proceed with your life, and then having this sort of, um, this background feeling, if I can put it that way, <laughs> that's the best way I could put it, this sort of background feeling of like, um, anything I do is part of my purpose. Uh, me just being alive, me taking a breath, I'm already on my path. I'm already doing what I'm supposed to be doing, right? So there are layers here. Um, maybe awareness of various levels of you and kind of where you're vibrating, right? Um, some of you will know exactly what the heck we're talking about there. Some of you might have to discover that, <laughs> right? But you are a multidimensional being and this could be you sort of um, getting in tune and or feeling very much in alignment with all aspects of yourself. And again, that takes all these sort of floating goals and you know brings them right into focus for you. But the other effect for some of you might be that once some of these goals get into effect, suddenly you might find, okay, well that doesn't, I don't wanna do that anymore. That doesn't align with me. That doesn't feel right anymore. Um, and some really big choices might need to be made this week, but there's just so much going on <laughs> and yet it's a very relaxing week at the same time. So I don't know how to explain that. Um, I'm human. I don't even know how that's going to play out, but we can all report back and share our experiences and see if this week makes any sense at all. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. Just keep very clear and stay relaxed. Don't push on any answers. Let it flow. Follow the guidance as it comes to you. All right, guys, so there it is. Have a beautiful week. And of course, I'm sending you so much love. Take care.